Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. After watching the title of this video, I think you understand what is inside in this video. Nowadays there is a one question in a mind of every react developer and a learner that what about the react. So I give here a title to this video is next year is the future of react. So we will discuss so many questions about react in this video questions like is react dead we will discuss in this video is next js is replacing react why next js in place of react is next js is the future of react what to learn now react js or next js and not only these there are lot more questions are coming in the mind of developer after react official website react.dev announce to use react framework like next.js in place of react library you can see a look here it was the official website earlier react.js.org and here they have written this document is old would not be updated go to react.dev for react documentation you see now we go to this website it's officially website now react.dev and what they are saying they are saying you see that if you want to use react now go to the installation process and start a new project here and you see that officially the react community or website is announcing and forcing or promoting the framework to be used for react so these frameworks are next you can use remix you can use gets by you can use expo you can use there are so many things are available but there is no plain react library means now react itself want to use framework in place of pure react library so the question rise what about react is react that so many questions which i am discussing here in this ppt about these so before giving the answer of these questions we should understand why we are going toward the framework you see that first of all we have to understand what is client side rendering and what are the drawbacks in client side rendering so you see that in client side rendering server send response to browser remember server is sending response to browser then browser load javascript javascript executes reacts functionality and library functions and modules and components then page visible because of this you see that loading loading you have a white page visible on the screen before actual display of the page that is a drawback so you can see once again drawback is what white page visible before actual web page display in browser so that is a drawback in client side rendering that actually when we get a first page of our website before that we have a little bit of glance of white page visible on the screen and one more thing for client side rendering it is not seo friendly means it's search engine optimization friendly not a search engine optimization friendly websites so you see that javascript is itself you can say executing react and react is displaying the page to the web browser means all the rendering everything is done by the react to display a single html tag that's why it take time to execute whole page and before displaying any actual any single line of code on your web page it show white space that is the client side rendering now you go for server side rendering you see that server sending ready to be rendered html response to browser remember that ready to be rendered tag of html goes to browser then browser browser render html page is visible means there is no white space no white page so html page is display here then javascript load and execute react library or react code and then javascript loaded and the page become interactive and this whole process is we called hydration that means here we do not have 
the white space html itself render then javascript render that is a process of server side rendering ssr advantage of this is user does not experience blank or white page while rendering and it is seo friendly means these are the drawbacks in client side rendering same are the advantage in server side rendering and we know other things also regarding server side rendering like php also do the same for server side rendering application now we should understand what is react react is a javascript based library it used to develop rapid development and it is flexible and responsive fast and vast Prerequisites for learning React is JavaScript. You should have a knowledge of ES6 JavaScript plus CSS plus HTML. And remember that React support client side rendering. That means the drawback which you have learned here, all drawbacks goes to React also. So React have a drawback that it support client side rendering. Just in last 10 years, industry was supporting client side rendering applications. There was huge support for React also, but there are some drawbacks that client side rendering websites are not SEO friendly and they show white space and they are a little bit slow also because of the processing time that JavaScript take before displaying the web page actually on a browser. Now, understand what is Next.js. Next.js is a framework based on a React. Remember that it is based on a React. It is also rapid development, flexible and responsive, all the same, the quality which React have, it also have plus zero configuration, point to be remember here that zero configuration means itself rapid development, so SEO friendly websites we can build in next JS and prerequisites is React JS fundamentals. Remember that you can't make a single web page of next JS without a react remember that so you should have a knowledge of react then next js supports server side rendering means all the drawbacks which we have read there these are the advantage in server side rendering no white space seo friendly so same we have for next js plus next js is used to build gem stack website what is gem stack website gem stack is a modern way to build a website nowadays and that is a combination of three things javascript api and markups j for javascript a for api m for markup gems stack means it's a modern way to build your website so next js supports gem stacks to build your modern website remember here one more point that next js need react without react it is zero that means Without React, you cannot make a single page of Next.js. Now, we comes on the question, which one is better, React or Next.js? No doubt now, Next.js is better than React, but have all the functionality power of React. Remember that. Now, we have some questions in your mind. Those I have mentioned in the first slide that, is React dead? So, question is no. Why? because next.js is based on react so the life of next.js itself is based on react so it cannot replace it cannot dead the react so react is itself required for making next.js applications so this question no next question is next.js replacing react no next.js is promoting react because it's based on react so everybody will make next generation of website using Jamstack framework and Jamstack is also supported by Next.js. Next.js have server side rendering also bigger advantage. So plus all these functionality with React become Next.js. So itself we can say that Next.js is not replacing React. It is promoting the React. Now question why Next.js in place of React? The answer is Next.js is better than React and have better experience. You have more faster web development, big advantage. As I explained in the previous slides also, there are so many advantages for using Next.js. That's why officially they are changing to work in Next.js with React. Next question. Is Next.js the future of React? 
so we can say right now yes why because officially the react community also promoting to use framework and they want you should learn next.js forcefully or you can say by promoting uh, next.js or by uh, forcing you uh, to be to use this because they are officially closing the react documentation they are now uh, making the documentation on the basis of next.js so next.js is the future of react right now we can say yes now question b question comes the last question what to learn react.js or next.js so the answer is both why because if you don't know javascript you can't learn react remember that so for learning a react you should have a knowledge of javascript similarly if you want to learn next.js then you should have a knowledge of javascript plus html plus css plus react so question is clear here that if you want to learn next.js then you need react you can't go beyond the react if you want to learn react you should learn javascript that's why if you want to make your application using next.js because next.js is based on react so you should have a knowledge of react js fundamentals so you have to learn the react js fundamental no need to learn advanced concept in react because advanced concept all are modified as per the requirement in next.js but fundamental is always required so we have to learn react js fundamentals then you should learn next.js as per your requirement whatever the requirement you have for your project for your placement or for your job for your company then you can learn next.js also so the answer of this question what to learn now react.js or next.js the answer is both i think i have given answer of all the questions which are in your mind about uh, react new announcements but this is the way which we have to go so nothing is changing nothing is that just is a modern way to make react application you can say that so that's all in this video if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video